Giuseppe Arcimboldo is an artist who makes portraits out of fruits, vegetables, and plants. Let's make some practice drawings today. To begin our fruit portrait, we're gonna to have to do some practice drawing first, but here's an example of the finished project, but we need to start by planning or practicing. So on a free draw paper, we're going to fold it into four sections so that we can have at least four different examples of a self-portrait or a fruit portrait. So first we're gonna fold it in half like a book or a card and then bring the top to the bottom a second time. So you're folding two times and then when you open your paper, you have four sections for four different mini practice drawings, okay? Let's put our name at the top somewhere small so you can have enough room to draw or that can be the back if you'd like. And you're also going to be given visuals. These are examples of fruits and vegetables, realistic fruits and vegetables, the way they look in real life, because we want to draw just like Giuseppe Archimboldo. We want to make everything look like real life. So the first step in creating a portrait is the head. So I have fruits and vegetables on one page, and then I have plants, sticks, leaves, trees on the other. So I'm thinking of a head. And I like to take my portrait one drawing at a time, so I like to fold it up like that. And it can be vertical or horizontal, depending on your head. So for example, if you choose a watermelon for a head, it might be better to turn your paper horizontal so it can be nice and wide like a watermelon. If you're using a pear, that is a tall shape, so you might wanna turn it vertical, okay? Let me go ahead and start with that watermelon. And these are just plans. Now, if you have a fruit or vegetable in mind that's not on the idea sheet, you can definitely draw it, but try to make sure it looks realistic. So if you're having trouble drawing a fr fruit or vegetable that's realistic, you might want to save that for later or start with something from the idea sheet first. Because we're drawing organic shapes or shapes from nature. Organic shapes are fruits and vegetables, of course, other plants, also people, animals, insects, weather like clouds, lightning, bolts, stars. Those are all organic shapes. They come from nature. We're only doing fruits and vegetables though because we're making a drawing inspired by Giuseppe Archimboldo. Now, after I draw a nice big head, I'm gonna make a dotted line down the center. This will be my vertical line to split my head in half so I can make it symmetrical. So I can have an eye and an eye and it can be even. And then in the middle, not at the top, not at the bottom, but in the middle, I'm gonna make a dotted line that's horizontal and that's where I'm gonna help make my nose and everything uh, balanced in the middle. Cause I'm doing everything to make it symmetrical, okay? Now I need to make two eyes. So I'm gonna look here for inspiration or I can, come up with my own fruit or vegetable that's not here. I don't wanna draw just an oval or just a circle. I wanna make it look like a fruit or vegetable. It could start off that way or have the characteristics of a circle or oval, but I need to make sure I add details to make it look like a fruit or vegetable. And this is, looks like a lemon, so I'm just gonna make it like um, what I see if I'm having trouble drawing a lemon like real life. I'm not gonna trace. I'm just gonna draw freehand as best I can. And it's got a little extra little divot right there. And I'm gonna do two of them. And I'm using that dotted line, right? That'll help me make my drawing symmetrical in my eyes in the middle of my head, okay? It's not near the top, they're actually in the middle. And then I need pupils and eyeballs, okay? So I might use the inside of a kiwi. I don't have to draw the whole kiwi. I can draw just parts of it if I want. And it looks like it's got a little, it's got two line, two circle lines and then some little texture lines to make it look like it's kind of rough or bumpy and these little seeds, I guess. Okay, and I'll do the same thing on the right side, making it symmetrical. And I'm using a pencil, drawing light till I get it right in case I make a mistake. And then I need some eyeballs maybe, or irises. <clears throat> so maybe watermelon seeds will be good eyes. Okay, now I'm gonna do the nose next and the nose needs to be right below the eyes. 
in the middle of the nose needs to be the middle of this vertical line here. So let me see, a nose, maybe this eggplant. Okay, the squash would be good too. Or anything, strawberry, banana. They don't have to be on the sheet, but make sure it's a leaf, plant, tree, fruit, vegetable. Okay, no animals or people. Okay, and then I have a little room for a tiny mouth, but guess what? It's okay, it's just practice. I might actually erase some of these seeds so I can have more room for a mouth. Okay, let's see. I think the leaf would be great mouth, like a smiley face mouth, or it can be a frowny face mouth. Okay. Don't uh, love the way that came out, so I'm gonna just erase and redo because I'm doing my very best so that my final drawing will be awesome and I won't have a lot of problems if I really practice. Now, if one of your shapes is not coming out the way you like, even though you've tried several times, erase it and try something easier, like a different kind of leaf. Maybe if that one was giving me trouble. Okay, I definitely need eyebrows. I'm thinking this log right here. Okay, I'll draw the other one later because I think you understand. We're making it symmetrical. Drawing it light till we get it right. Add some texture lines to make it look bumpy. Okay, I could also have done my eyebrows like mad by making them diagonal or worried by making them um, a little higher. So you can make your portrait have expressions like anger, sadness, worry, fear, excitement, okay? And then ears, I need some ears. I might use another leaf for an ear, that would be a great ear. Ears go on the side of the eyes near that dotted line, but the top of the ear can be a little bit above. Okay, I'm gonna start with the leaf, the vein down the leaf. So see, I'm using a leaf again, but I'm doing it different. I'm using variety. I'm not doing the same leaf over and over. And then I'll do the other leaf later. I might wanna add some veins to this one too. I can also add hair. Um, I could add freckles. I can find a creative way to add glasses or jewelry like earrings or a mustache if I want. I can really go crazy with these to make them interesting. Okay, I'm gonna do a few more, but I'm gonna speed it up. Um, but when it's your turn, you will take your time until you're done with four different ones. Make sure they're all different, they have variety, and you're only using fruits, vegetables, and plants to make some portraits in the style of Giuseppe Arcimboldo. Have fun.
Okay, friends, I am all finished with my four different portraits using fruits and vegetables and plants. Remember, they need to all be different even though you may repeat some of the same shapes. For example, I use the leaves a lot, but they're all different leaves and I put them in different places. Oh, I forgot an eyebrow right there, I gotta add that. Um, I used pumpkin seeds a lot, but I put them in different places. They make great teeth. Um, so you can repeat some of the shapes. Also, you, don't, you do not have to draw the whole part of the fruit or vegetable. For example, here I used a pineapple for a head and some spiky hair. I used the top of the pineapple, but I decided to leave off these texture lines because I didn't want it to get in the way of my face. Also, if you're using, for example, you like the top of a broccoli bunch like this, that could be some good curly hair. You can leave off the stem part. So you can pick parts of a fruit or vegetable, like a leaf or a stem. You don't have to choose to draw the whole thing, okay? Um, if you wanna do more, because you have more time or you need more practice, you can definitely draw more on the back. I cannot wait to see these practice drawings.